What is going on guys? Sid here with another FIFA 22 video and welcome to the RTG on this channel. So guys, um, it is the 1 p.m. content drop on the East Coast. It's the 6 p.m. content drop. Uh, that's it's, it's known by that by literally everyone else in the UK. Uh, hello guys over in the UK. Hello guys all around the world. But yeah, it's the 1 p.m. content drop on the East Coast, right? So that, get used to saying that if you haven't heard me say that um because i do live in new york right so guys um we got into our division five promotion match right from division six division six to division five right so um i actually am gonna show you that i'm gonna highlight that video in this i'm gonna clip it into this video right but we're basically checking out what they dropped in terms of sbc content today and guys it's a doozy it's a doozy i checked it out on my phone and then jumped on here and guys we have our first flashback player so we're briefly gonna take a look at this player so i know exactly when this guy earned this this type of rating there was a time when pedro was really really high up there right and he's gonna be a left winger um he's gonna be a left winger here right um that's what they're giving him right so okay so he's in italy right now um so let's look at his pace 86 84 shooting 84 passing 87 dribble 48 defense and 63 physicality yeah that sounds about right um, I forgot which which version of FIFA would have um, comparable stats. I've got to look back, man. My memory's kind of going right now, but there was a time when Pedro was really, really high up there, right? And um, skill moves four star, weak foot five star. Yep. Um, so here's the interesting thing about this card: his acceleration's a 98. His sprint speed's really, really low, right? Um, so. I don't know his dribbling seems good right his shooting stats seem good for right now but um you can make the case for either using a dead eye right um if if you are used to playing with slower paced players right um so he's not really that fast he's not really that slow right so you take the mean and he'll probably be an 86 rated uh a pace play 86 pace player right so um you can use a hunter right to up his sprint speed right and up the shooting stats a little right i don't know if people are going to do that you're going to waste one area right which is the acceleration but you'll max it out completely right um i don't know how efficient that would be maybe an engine chem style a hawk chem style would would distribute it a little better you'll feel a little better about using that chem style i don't know it's really how it, it's it's dependent on how you guys play but the sprint speed is extremely low not that that's a that's too big of a deal acceleration is much more important than sprint speed right unless you're doing like crazy crazy counter attacks like like all over the place right but um if you were to choose between the two accelerating players that accelerate extremely fast right um you you you'd find that to be much a much more useful stat but ideally you want both acceleration and sprint speed so i don't want to beat a dead horse right strap a shadow on him strap a dead eye on him strap an engine on him right strap a hawk on him play however you feel comfortable playing is what i'm gonna say but the strength and the aggression are really low so it's kind of like telling me right um it's kind of telling me that um a hawk chem style right or boosting the shooting and the physical stats would make more sense so he's got finesse shot long shot taker outside foot shot right so it's a decent enough flashback player um and what are the requirements so here's when the market's probably going to start popping up right but i don't know if it's going to pop up because of pedro because you've got to be running a side that needs a left wing right um so it's going to be a hybrid spanish side or an Italian side, um, uh, a city side, right? So hybrid Spanish or yeah. So uh, minimum gold. Let's look at the blocks really quickly. Rare players eleven. Team of the week players one. So team of the week players are gonna rise. Um, so past and present, okay. And uh, eighty five rated. So I think the market's gonna rise, but not that much because it is uh, unfortunately. It's only 86 rated, right? I mean, that's a decent enough. Uh, that's decent enough, but I don't think it's as good um, to warrant the market to like 
go crazy, right? I don't think a lot of people are going to be go going super hardcore over Pedro. But um, if I were to use him, he would be a super sub left forward, right? Because I'm not running that formation. I'm running the 4 2 uh, And he would have to be a super sub, and you'd put a hunter on him. And uh, I guess he would be a 7 chem beast, right? So um, that's all I have to say there. I'm still waiting on loyalty right i have to pack these players right so i have to pack these three players in order to get the loyalty up and then we'll have this cute pack for you guys but that's i guess that that's i guess all that they've offered today right so these ones to watch players are still here and uh this is what the team's looking like if you guys are new here and um we are gonna zoom right along and I'm gonna show you the match that happened like earlier. I got up super early today, then I took a nap in between, right? So I got up at like 2.30 a.m. East Coast time and uh, started playing my D my D6 to D5 matches, right? So I'm gonna show you the promotion match and that's where I cut it. So I think I'm gonna stay comfortably in Division 5 right now and uh, we're gonna work up to, um, oh, we're, we're probably going to qualify for foot champs, right? Do the qualification matches, right? I'm thinking that's what the plan will be. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. I've got to play it by ear. Um, I got to see how the attempts... Uh, not, I got to see how my squad's feeling. I'm still feeling out the game, right? Uh, long story short. But I don't want to waste more time, right? Uh, talking, talking your ear off. Let's show you these matches right um uh well no let's show you this match right because this match was absolutely brilliant right brilliant brilliant um brilliant br brilliant competitor right i faced right so um peace love all the blessings to you and yours hit that subscribe button if you are new here that helps keep the channel going and growing and glowing glowing growing going whatever you, you right so uh also on a side note Stay tuned for Spooky Season Specials. Uh, that'll be dropped at 8 p.m., uh, which is non-FIFA related content. It's uh, holiday themed. And then five minute boss battle sometime in the near future, right? But it is Spooky Season, so we are prioritizing that. I think I wanna attempt a no-hit run in Crypt of the Necrodancer, right? In zone two, I did a no-hit run in zone one, which was insanely hard, and it's an it's 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 about 10 times harder in zone 2 so i'm gonna try that uh right after we finish off with fifa 22 for today all right guys love you guys what is going on guys sid here with another fifa 22 video and welcome to the rtg on this channel so guys as you know yesterday monday uh i was not able to uh play any matches in uh fifa 22 at all uh spent a lot of time at the hospital had to take care of some stuff for, pertaining to the caregiving aspect uh role that i've been in for the past year and a half taking care of my mother but with that being said guys um uh i did upload a video of me opening some of the 78 plus rated rare packs and you're gonna get an idea just a small idea of what to expect if anything from those packs right so with that being said guys this morning tuesday morning guys um on the east coast uh i got into uh around like i want to say like 2 33 o'clock in the morning I started getting into some uh, division rivals matches, right? Took my time, uh, didn't rush any of the games. But guys, uh, in terms of matchmaking, this morning, right, um, in division six, right, um, working up to division five, um, I was just matching up against um, definitely pro level players. It was the only thing I was, the only set of players that I was matching up to, right? For the first like three matches, right? And I got my butt kicked, like uh, like initially for the warm up matches, right? Um, like uh, two games in a row, I think I lost pretty, pretty badly, right? And it took me a little while to reacclimate, right? To FIFA 22, definitely, definitely because I was cold turkey one day, right? I already reverted back to FIFA 21 style gameplay, right? So guys, um, I then spent the rest of the morning just relaxing and then taking my time in, in, in the rivals matches, right? And uh, slowly but surely working my way up from division six all the way up to division five. And guys, it was, it was fun, right? There were matches 
that I won 3 nil, and then the opponent would rage quit. A lot of those matches happened, right? A good a good set of them. But then when I got into my um, promotion match, right? Um, to go, my D5 promotion match, I was winning the match, right? So I was winning it comfortably. Then all of a sudden, second half kicks in, and O Block cannot save a goal. These crappy goals he could not save. Right? These crappy shots on targets on target, he could not save for the life of him. Right? So I was completely annoyed, right, at the way that game that match went. So I immediately went into a next match, won that match considerably well. It was another rage quit. Right? And uh, then jumped into the match that we are seeing on the screen right now. And guys, this opponent. This opponent was insanely strong as well. Um, guys, he made it 2-1 by the 53rd minute, but his goals were absolutely, you know, they were they were intense, right? Because the amount of pressure he was putting on, the, the amount of attacking pressure that he was putting on, any other any other day, I would have, you know, had I been tired and not well rested, I would have just, you know, I would have said to myself, yo, let me just forfeit this match right now because this guy's, like really, really just kicking my butt and he's dominating the match. No joke, no joke. But guys, I wanted to fire on all cylinders for this match and power through. And there you have it, guys. I equalized with Griezmann. When I equalized with Griezmann, I was like, okay, I stand a chance in this match against his opponent, right? Because I know how hard he's playing. He's putting on the pressure I had to defend for the life of me I had to just defend and defend and defend and hopefully hit him on some you know counter-attack play that would stifle his you know that that would just take his take his defenders out of you know uh, out of the question right so that's exactly what I did and I tried to stifle his defending as much as humanly possible but as you can see his fast twitch is there right he's his he's playing at a very very high tempo right very 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 considerably high tempo right and i did not know if i was going to win this match right but once i equalized i felt the i felt the tide starting to turn just a little bit right um just in terms of putting on the pressure and keeping that pressure going for the whole match now i know uh, you guys have you guys understand this feeling that if you play too many matches in a row eventually You get that adrenaline dump right um if you play at a competitive level you do get that adrenaline dump You do feel tired and drained after you play so many matches in a row So I played a lot of matches in a row today even though I took my time I played a lot of matches in a row right and it was all um It was it was like split it was like Half of the matches I played were definitely D1, like D1 ranked opponents, and then the other half of them felt like um, probably D2, D3 opponents at best, right? But we're all working up, working up to, you know, we all start at the same point. So, how we tell how good the opponents are based on it's 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 honestly just based on how you know previous iterations how you felt, and guys. I hit this guy on this counterattack right here, right? I did not know if that counterattack was going to go through, right? But I, I sent it over Manalus. Griezmann catches the ball and he slots it away. Guys, don't finesse inside the box. Finesse outside the box, yes. Inside the box, you want to rip it. You want to rip it to the opposite end, right? And that's exactly what I did. And... Griezmann, he, he rage quits, right? And that's the perfect scenario, right? Because he was obviously annoyed. He was obviously annoyed that I won the match. And um, it's de it definitely was because he was playing at an insanely high tempo, right? And insane, he was playing extremely passionately. I, it's very hard to tell because um, I'm only highlighting the key moments in some of the key moments in the match. But this guy went insane in the match and i feel bad for him that he had to rage quit but guys i ranked up right i'm in d5 i still have to do my placement matches now right but we are halfway through uh rivals we are halfway through done right so cheers